and what's up guys welcome back to another episode of dead life all right guys i figured it's been um been a little bit so i want to do a quick corvette update um i had a leak in the passenger front tire so that's been kind of going off and on for the past couple months you know you keep filling up with air keeps coming back so i actually had to take that off it was the passenger front tire uh took it to the shop up the road and what they found was uh the seal it was just like the seal wasn't making a proper seal if you will on the rim because it's a chrome wheel and obviously the dust and the dirt and everything so basically they took it off resealed it didn't have to be patched or anything so that's cool so so far so good um so that's good for now uh obviously saw in a previous video I had the, what I thought was smoke and a fire, which luckily, thank God for everybody involved, was not. It was just a bad coolant expansion tank. You know, over the years, 20 some year old car, all those plastics and stuff. It is now the time of maintenance. So that failed on me. So I put a new OEM coolant tank in. Um, I've had power steering leaks. So that ran low. So I put two bottles over the course of probably two plus months of Lucas Oil stop leak, right? So power steering's been going good, but then there's a leak under the car. So I'm gonna take you out to the car. All right guys, so here's the car as it sits now. Uh, last summer, probably showed you on video, but if not, just a quick recap. I added the red pinstripe on the bottom of the front lip, red pinstripe on the side splitter. I still have the red pinstripe tape in the garage. So what I am going to do is I am going to add the red pinstripe here to separate the bottom of the wrap from the lower valance. Just add that little extra touch within the red on the bottom. If you do the red over there, it'll go with the tail lights and the brake lights, blah, blah, blah. So where are we at? So the car was washed and then of course the leak's coming. And I'm losing the paint. So the paint, paint loss is getting worse. I have a brand new emblem for it. I still gotta put that on, but I gotta touch this up first. And then either dip it, wrap it, paint it, you know, same drill. But let's pop in the car real quick. So let's see, pop this real quick. Come over here. So I got the new coolant tank on. And I realize under the car, there is um, a puddle. So this whole time I've been thinking it's weird because I'll check the power steering and plenty of fluid. So I'm like, wait a minute, this time it's not power steering fluid. So then I saw some wetness here. So I'm pretty sure this top hose is leaking coolant. So I come to the car the other day, I drove the car to work two days in a row so I finally put some, you know, good miles on it, driving the car, not just five, 10 minutes around town, actually, you know, 10 miles or so, 20 miles, two times a day. And then all of a sudden I get in the car and you can also see here, full cold, the coolant was way down. So I was like, all right, not gonna chance it. We're not gonna do anything. Let it sit a couple days. Uh, I literally just topped this off the other day, full cold. And you figure car's been sitting for probably a week so I'm losing coolant and the car isn't idled or anything. So real quick, because I don't want these hoses to heat up at all, uh, I'm gonna start the car, I'm gonna pull it back just a smidge, see if we can find a leak on the ground. Let's close this up real quick, see if it'll start. Hopefully it does, but uh, let's take a look. We're just gonna keep this video rolling real quick. All right, let's start it up real quick. All right, security light, that's a good start. Make sure no one's behind me real quick. Ooh, not in reverse. Sorry, I'm wearing flip-flops. So I don't have a feel right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna probably stall. Alright. Let's put that up real quick. Alright guys, so what we're gonna do is we have to get this top radiator hose i'm going to switch it out it's still got the original markings and dates on there so it's about 25 years old 
So in order to get to that hose on the other side, I've got to take off this fan shroud. So you got two bolts down there. You got to pop off the air bridge and the intake. So it looks like we just got to, it's been a minute. And unplug a little sensor here. Let's see. So loosen that. Also, don't forget to uh, unplug the Mazair sensor and it should lift right out. So now we got to get shroud off here. They All right, pop this bad boy off. Nice and simple, throw it on the ground. And there is our radiator. So, you can see wetness here. The hope is that it's just the hose seeping from here, dripping down, which would be about where the puddle is. And we're gonna do this the most backyard hack way. So, we are going to loosen the clamps, pull them all the way back here, loosen the clamp, and then I'm going to Kind of do one at a time to keep as much cooling in. So I should probably go grab a little cup or something. So let's do that. Okay, so that's that clamp. Right, so loosen that clamp. Let's go to the other side, loosen that one. And I gotta get some kind of cups or bucket. All right, guys, so I got a solo cup wedged under here. Uh, I got the clamp off. You see it's marked radiator top. Move the clamp back. And on the other side, I've got another solo cup kind of wedged under there to try to catch. We're gonna try to do this as fast as possible. So in order to do this as fast as possible, what I recommend is go a little extreme, see these clamps. You know how it is, they always get caught up. So move them. I'm gonna move them back a little farther just so that way it's literally just pull. I'm gonna do one side at a time. In terms of what we're using, good old Rock Auto. Got some nice Gates branded belts, brand new rubber. This is the molded lower one. And, oh, thank you Rock Auto as always. What's this, is that a Riviera? I was gonna say a Riviera, damn it. Paul, look at that, Riviera, thanks for the magnet. And this is the molded upper. I went with Gates because I figured they were like a dollar or two more than the Deco belts. And uh, made in the US of A, which is pretty awesome. But uh, yeah, I've had great luck with the Gates belts. I run the Gates belts. Pretty sure I'm still running the Gates belts. I don't know, I've switched, switched belts a lot over the years, but I've generally had great, um, great success with the Gates slash Continental belts. So this should be the upper one. Let's see how this is positioned. Is it like, like this? Would you look at this? Just look at it. Looks roughly right. Yeah, let's see. All right, you guys know how I roll. Try to position your belt, the right orientation. I'm sorry, not belt, your hose. And we're gonna try to do this. And it's gonna be tough one hand it. And I got the cat touching my leg. My cat always likes to come check out what's going on. Oh, we've got it. Here to cat meow. There's a solo cup. One, two, and keep it up to the sky. Oh, shit. Shoot, sorry. Keep it like that. Oh, God. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on, guys. And we're back. So we got first part of the hose all the way up here. The water pump outlet. Red solo cup, we fill you up. Definitely got a mess, which I expected. Switched over to clamp. That's why I had to put you guys down. It's just, I'm losing a lot of fluids. Uh, so let's go to the other side. Here you go, guys. Solo cup for the win. So uh, I'm gonna get a paper towel real quick. Wipe that off so it seals good. All right, so we wipe that off. Outlet on the stock radiator, the end tank. It's 
plastic still looks good. So let's put this on. Keep wiggling, keep wiggling. Let's get that solo cup out of there. All right guys, and make sure you get the end of the hose butted up all the way up. Right there, nice and tight. Let's adjust our clamp here. I'm gonna put you down real quick. God damn it, sorry for the cursing. <sighs> After all these years, I can't tell you, every time I work on the car, if you do your own work <sighs> on any Corvette, you will slam your head on the hood. Probably every every time, because you forget that it's front opening. <laughs> so you just, ah, anyway, that hurt. So, got our clamp on here, nice and tight like a tiger. Uh, we're gonna take our towels and let's try to dry up much of the coolant as we can here now again when we start this up just so you guys are aware you will probably see some steam because it has to burn off but at least try to dry it all up so you can tell what's dry and make sure you don't have any leaks so new hose on let's go to the other side I lost that much coolant there. And let's get the other red solo cup. Okay, grab this bad boy out. Water pump. So we lost a good amount of coolant, obviously. But you can see where we're at here on the full, full cold line. So basically, so far we lost what was in the hoses and probably part of the radiator. So let's dry this up and then let us um, clean up that, clean up on the rack, and let's not forget to put a clamp on here. So let's do that now off camera. Quick observation guys, be mindful of how you position this clamp on the hose. So again, it, it's, on, it's on the outlet really nice. You can see, here's the water pump, there's the full outlet here. So I have it kind of back here, got the hose butted up against the end of it but be mindful you don't want to have this clamp sitting near your serpentine belt because this part if it's too close not good but clearance clearance so that's about the clearance they have on the serp belt ow so let's plug some connectors in make sure this goes back right and that bee's the wrong one so make sure you're plugging in the right connector thank you so that's there it's out of the way. Should probably tape that up. Let's dry this off. All right, guys. So I tighten up the coupler here for the air intake. Let's plug in the rest of the sensors into the air intake real quick. There's a the MAF sensor. So we got sensor, sensor. That's on. We got it clamped here. Let's just do a quick check. Let's see. Let's see. All right. And nice and tight hose clamp there all right so we switched the hose again i'm going to leave that off right now because i want to clean it but i also want to come back to it so i figure this is something that if that's off it's less work so let's move our screws to that real quick all righty guys frugal my life sometimes with this car. be fixed it looks like the end tank on the plastic right here looks like it's seeping because it hates me can we fix this or does it have to get a new radiator 